Hello everyone, today we're going to be looking at a game, a matchmaking game. Um, in this game we're playing against Phase Snipe Down. Um, I'm searching as a 4 stack. Phase Snipe Down is uh, searching by himself. Um, now, I picked this game not just because we're playing against the pro and we win, and I do individually well, but I'm bringing up this game because it's a very good example of basically the difference between playing with a team and having to play by an individual. In this game you'll see that Snipe Down, despite his best efforts, is severely hindered because unfortunately the matchmaking system paired him with, you know, low tier teammates, whereas I have the benefit of playing with a full stacked lineup that I searched the game with. So, anyway, we're going to start the clip. You're going to start seeing the difference between map control between the two of us. You'll notice that right at the start, we're already taking shots across the map, trying to get damage down. And when you're working and playing Halo together, especially as a team, it's all about dealing damage. See here, I get a call out that the camo guy's getting away, like, bottom mid, and I'm trying to catch him, and I'm instantly trying to make my way back up to get some top control, but it just doesn't work out. You'll see in that, Snipe Down almost instantly dies, and that's just a result of him getting called out by my teammates. You'll notice I have two teammates over on the left side, they're keeping that locked down. I go to the right, I know that I need to keep some pressure on this side of the map. Easy double kill, they already had damage, they already had shots, I just came in and cleaned them up. You know, I jingle peek here. That's honestly a mistake. Don't jingle peek a pro player when you're down shots. You're, you're gonna die, you know. But I'm just trying to play that style where we're putting shots down, being aggressive here. We whiff a bit, but we recover nicely and we get the kill. So, the enemy return the flag. I get naded, just gotta try and play my life here. It's like down boost past me. And I get fortunate that I'm able to melee him and I get that lunge. Normally you don't get that lunge. But yeah, you'll see here, again, callouts. Recognize the situation. Recognize there's probably a guy up here in our util. I come in, I clean him up. And I, t I told my teammates, I said, I'm returning the flag. Get that return. But you'll notice here, like, a lot of flag pulls on Aquarius are all reliant on these util pull sides. So you really gotta make sure that you're not letting enemy players get in, get out. It's a beautiful skill gap kill on snipe down, you know, it's... You get your shots in with the commando, you drop your weapon, you go for the headshot, you use a boost. That's just, you wanna use everything in the sandbox to its fullest potential. Give yourself the best possible chance of winning that gunfight. You'll see here... I knew I just killed their best player, it was probably a good idea to run the flag. That, that death there is a mistake. I should have just kept running, took a better position, maybe went through our util, come, came back, you know, got some high ground, but instead I, you know, was just kind of walking around bottom mid looking for a kill. And when you're looking for kills in bad sp spots, that's usually a recipe for disaster. Right here, I know they have top control. I'm trying to get back up here, put some pressure on here. Just unfortunate I got spotted. Got killed. You're not always going to make the right play. But you want to make sure that you're recognizing when you made a mistake. Right here. You know there's this guy here. He got called out. Instantly went there, instantly looking. You'll see like our team has control of top and the enemy team is not pressuring us for control of top. And this isn't really Snipe Down's fault, this is the fault of his team. Like that position and that position that I just died from, they should always be contesting those spots. I was so confident there because I was like, well, they're not even, they're not even, you know, putting pressure on me. Like normally when they spawn in those locations, you'd get pressure put on you but in that case they were hiding and they were waiting and then they pushed out and killed him. right here just a back smack I knew he was fighting my teammate so this is very important I don't chase the snipe down kill 
I wait, and then I come around and I deal with the flight carrier. And it just so happens that I run into snipe down and I'm able to kill him. Get a free camo out of the situation. Again, see snipe down. We know they're spawning probably in their utility. We're helping our teammates. The teammates are helping us. This is just good teamwork. Like, I'm not getting these kills if I don't have a teammate pushed up there, you know, drawing people out. Right here, we're just pl playing patient, looking for some kills, calling out some information. And you'll notice I just do this rotation top, top mid, top mid, top mid. Just rotate, rotate, rotate. Get damage down, get damage down. Get kills, play your life. Right there, I had the right idea. I knew there was probably someone with util. And in an ideal world, when I'm playing with my teammates, you have two people on one side, you have two people on the other side, you're working together, you're working in tandem. You know, but it doesn't always shake out that way. Sometimes you're going to have to be the guy holding top mid by yourself, or vice versa, and you just have to do the best you can with that situation. Right here, Snipe Down makes a good play, he comes in our base, he's, he's disrupting us, you'll notice Timmy has to come back, try and kill him, and you'll notice Snipe Down knows that, and he knows that he did his job, he did his role of slowing us down, of drawing a player back, and then he left. So right here, I'm baiting this guy into this fight, but Snipe Down went actually the wrong way. I end up getting, I think all three of these guys, yeah. And that's just, that's just playing where you know where everybody's at. Down here we got a snipe down spawn, I know. I know I'm weak, I know he wanted to push, I hate him instantly. You'll see here, I'm just, I'm just being pesky. I'm just getting in a spot where it's annoying, where you can't move. I'm putting damage down. Right here, I'm, I'm pretty sure I got shot through a wall, I have no idea, but you'll see, like, there was three people top mid, and I shot almost every single one of those three people, even though I was in a bad location. I think right here, spot that camo player, end up killing him after whiffing. But yeah, see the flag, get a flag touch. If you're If you're gonna die, and you're in a spot to potentially get a flag touch and reset it, make that play. Like, yeah, you might die, but it's important to keep the flag moving if you are capable of keeping it moving. You know, like, if I would have went and tried to live and then one guy on the enemy team runs and returns the flag, I'm not accomplishing the objective that I'm looking for. You know, like, you want to make sure that flag does not get returned. See right here, we rotate, we got really good positioning, really good return, we're going to end up getting our fourth flag. You'll see, like, there's just no pressure on this top mid, like, I'm able to get to top mid so easily, and the enemy team is struggling so hard to get up there, because we know they're spawning their fridge, we know they're spawning their util, and we just teamwork, we team, team up, tag up, and kill them, and when you're stuck in this situation, like, they have snipe down on their team. They have a guy who's got one of the, you know, best guns in the game. Like, but it does not matter if you do not work together. You're just gonna get sp you're just gonna get farmed. Like right here, you got, you know, them all spawning up on this fridge side. You got us just team shotting them every single time, like clockwork. Like this guy who's pushing up top mid. You know, I got camo because I wanted had to get camo, but. He's pushing by himself, like, he made a bad mistake. Right here, again, he's just flying in, thinking he's fine. You need to play for map control. That's number one. You gotta work together, and then play for map control. And if you fail to do that, then you're just not gonna be successful. And, like, even though Snipe Down's making all the right plays, I, like, I, I almost guarantee you he's making all the right plays, but the thing is... If you don't have map control, you can't get it unless your team helps you get it. Does that make sense? So like, 
the snipe down's not gonna go top mid. 1v3 everybody and win the game. Okay? It's just it's just not gonna happen. So when there's a situation like that, like say 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 the roles are reversed and I'm playing in snipe down situation. Well, you don't necessarily have to play for map control if the rest of your team is, is just abysmal. And that's kind of the problem with ranked matchmaking solo, is you're at the mercy of needing to go positive. So, if you don't go positive, you get punished harshly. So the incentive for playing properly in terms of like map control goes down when the rest of your team's not doing it. Like you'll notice snipe down is really just flanking, he's going around, he's looking for kills, he's trying to, you know, play his life, but he's not just sitting top mid. Like you would maybe expect. Right here, we're in a situation where we're up for nothing, and yeah, you know, you'll see. I'm just sitting ref refrigerator. I know there's a guy in our base. I know they're probably gonna pull flag. Right here, I I just tried to close the gap, maybe kill him, maybe get a melee on him. You know, if you're not gonna get away, deal damage and have your teammate get an easier time cleaning up the kill. So another important thing to talk about is I added up everybody's damage at the end of the game and my team had 24,000 damage total and the enemy team had 23,000 damage total. So we actually had like 1,000 more damage than the enemy team, which if you think about it actually isn't that much, okay? Like it is and it isn't. Like it's not a huge margin for damage but we're up by so many flags. And you'll notice that we had control of the map most of the game. So that, that to me just indicates that people aren't trying to play for map control on Snipe Down's team. They're just trying to play as individuals. They're trying to get kills. They're trying to run around. And that works, but it doesn't work if you're not playing for things that matter in the game. Right here we see this flag run. Uh, now, I'm not going to panic. There's 18 seconds left. Even if they scored, it's not the biggest deal. It's unfortunate I died there, but it is what it is. Um, I believe I ended this game with like 35 kills or something. Um, I'm not even sure how you bring up the, the score. Yeah. But it's not about the kills. It's about playing properly, making the right decisions, and winning the game. And even though 343 gave Snipe down every disadvantage, like bad teammates, you know, gave Snipe down a harder matchup against the stack of four, at the end of the day, it's about Halo's about teamwork. And if you don't have teamwork, especially in Halo Infinite, you're going to lose, you know, so. Anyway, I hope everyone, you know, enjoyed the video and uh, like and subscribe and all that crap.